I probably recorded this video about five times. Hey guys, I am back. I know I have not posted in like seven or eight months, but I am back now and I got some value for you because your girl done lost 10 pounds in two weeks. And if this is something that you're interested in, definitely give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm in my apartment and they're doing some renovations or something upstairs. So I'm sorry if you hear some banging and things. I literally have no control. And if I don't record today, I'm not going to record it at all. So let's just just bear with, bear with me. Now that the disclaimer is over, let's get to it. Why am I doing this? Well, for starters, I am sick of myself. I'm sick of me, I'm sick of the excuses, I'm sick of the crying, I'm sick of the lack of confidence and self-esteem, I'm sick of the yo-yo dieting, I don't want to start and have a great diet for two weeks and then for the next two months, four months, I'm back eating crazy again and not losing any weight, more than likely gaining weight. None of my clothes fit, I'm probably like two sizes removed from all of my clothes and I'm depressed every time I have to go inside the store and buy clothes that I know is like, girl, now you, you're you tripping out now. And there's nothing wrong with those who are, you know, buying bigger clothes and all the things. If that's your preference, then have, have at it. But that's just not my preference. And I was sick of it. So why? In a nutshell, I'm sick of it. I'm ready to actually see and do change. How? Now this how, some some people is not going to like this how because it's going to be like, uh, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you how I'm doing this is the most important way. And I don't believe you can do this anyway without God. I have completely surrendered my health and wellness and fitness to the Lord. Literally, I can surrender every aspect of my life, but this was one area that I never fully surrendered to. And I wasn't sure if it was because I didn't know how or if I didn't know I could, but you absolutely can. And that is what I'm doing. That's how I'm doing this. And I don't believe that I can do this without surrendering it to the Lord, because technically I've been trying this for three years on my own with my own control and it has not been working. And so I had to come to a complete uh, place of surrenderance for me to actually see change. His strength is the only thing on how I'm actually pushing through and not relying on my own strength. So for starters, how give your health and wellness and fitness to the Lord. All right, sermon over. Now let's get into some other steps that I've been doing on how I was able to lose this weight. Number one is I started um, changing my verbiage from diet to lifestyle. So I am going on a lifestyle change. I'm not doing a diet. I'm not doing a crash diet. I'm not starving myself. I am going on a healthier lifestyle change. And so I want to say about two months ago, the Lord has put it on my heart and put a bunch of videos in my timeline about eating raw fruits and vegetables. And that was something where originally where I was like, Lord, why are you showing me this? I'm never just eating raw fruits and vegetables. I need cooked food. I need my shrimp. I need my chicken, my whiting. I need that. I don't want to do this. Like, why do you keep showing me this? And I kept fighting it and I literally fight and fight and fight trying to still do it my own way which is why I now know that way I'm doing it right now, the raw fruits and vegetables is me surrendering. Okay, Lord, you want me to do it this way? I will fully surrender and do it this way. And it's been a world of difference now. I do incorporate plant-based meals as well. My thought process on incorporating plant-based meals as well is because I'm not looking to be someone who, um, eats raw fruits and vegetables for the rest of her life, right? I'm not doing this for the rest of my life, but I do want to build a better relationship with food. And I believe that doing the raw fruits and vegetables is helping me do that. I am eating so many, so much more fruits and vegetables that I did in my life 
honestly, because now that's all I can eat. So I'm learning new vegetables, learning new fruits, learning new ways to put them together, learning new recipes and things to honestly nourish my body. And that's building a better relationship with it. Without doing this, I don't think I would have ever incorporated or, or even eaten as many vegetables and fruits that I do right now. Now, I'm also incorporating plant-based because I still do want to eat cooked foods. I don't want to do this raw fruits and vegetable lifestyle change. And then when I'm tired and I don't want to do it anymore and I start eating cooked foods again, all the weight just comes right back, right? So we don't want the weight to come back. So this is why it has to be a lifestyle change on something that you can see yourself doing long term. I can see myself now that I've done it for two weeks. I can see myself eating more raw fruits and vegetable meals. And I can also see myself incorporating plant-based meals um, to kind of satiate that cooked feeling or, you know, some warm soup in the fall, like things of that nature, but just healthier alternatives. So that's literally how I'm doing it. I'm on a raw fruits and vegetables slash plant-based lifestyle change. A question that I've gotten in the streets because my friends and family know that I'm doing this is, is my family doing this as well? And the answer is absolutely yes and absolutely no, right? So um, my kids absolutely adore them, but I don't want to remove certain things from them just yet, but I do want to swap them out for, halt for healthier alternatives. For instance, my daughter, she loves my sugar-free, guilt-free, gluten-free oatmeal. I know, sounds crazy. If you want a video on what I'm feeding my kids on this lifestyle change, definitely let me know in the comment section below because I will show you all of that. My daughters actually love it. And I'm starting to learn fruits and vegetables that she does like. I'm typically only giving her vegetables, the typical string beans or broccoli, and she's kind of like, I don't want this, but... With me buying so many vegetables, I'm learning what she likes and I'm able to give them to her. Um, so that's been the beauty of it. She also has gut health issues and eczema on her face. So we are looking to use this lifestyle change as a means to heal her as well. In regard to my husband, now it took him a week to get on board. Um, cute, funny story, short story. I started this June 12th. And he started his fitness and lifestyle change June 12th as well. However, I was doing the raw fruits and vegetables. He was still incorporating cooked and meats and just all the things um, trying to do. I don't know what she told y'all about this here journey that we're on, but um, she pretty much fought me to do this with her. I mean, I didn't want to do it. I said, I'll do it. I think it'd be beneficial if I incorporate more fruits and vegetables into my diet, even if that's two out of three meals of the day, and uh, we'll go from there. But I still needed my, my meat. I still was uh, trying to incorporate some protein, like chicken, things like that into my diet. And um, she just wasn't having it. So I still did like a hybrid version of the, you know, the raw fruits and vegetable stuff, and it was going good for a while. However, I ended up doing it for like five days straight because I didn't feel like making anything. So I was just going with what she was doing. And then I came across a grass fed burger. I guess because the burger, the cow was eating grass, she thought it was healthier. I ate the burger and uh, as much as I enjoyed it when I was eating it afterward, man, that thing hit me hard. It hit me hard. I just, I felt every bit of it. I felt sluggish, I felt heavy and um, that was an eye opener for me. So after that, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go all the way. And uh, so far, since I've been doing it, it's been about two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. And um, I'm down about 11 pounds now, feeling nice and lean all the time. Got a little bit more energy than I did before. So um, yeah, I'm a believer. All right, cut, <laughs> cut, cut. Ugh. That is what opened his eyes to doing it the way I was doing it because he saw how vibrant I was. He saw how energetic I was. He saw the mental clarity of me being able to stay up hours just reading my Bible. So that's when he got on board. And I will tell you, it's a beautiful thing. If you can get an accountability partner, that is a great way to start this lifestyle because you guys can do it together. Um, it's honestly growing our marriage stronger because now we have a common goal that we're working towards together. 
and it's beautiful and it's fun and it's exciting to see him interested in some of the meals that I've made with no meat, no sugar, and you know, seeing him throw together his little salads and the way he did and excited about it. So it's been a great thing. I highly encourage you do try to do it with your family, but if you can't, just allow them to see how this lifestyle change is changing you. And I promise you, others will jump on board. Yeah, that's literally just about it. If you want to see some videos of some of the meals that I've been eating and you know, some of the recipes that I'm trying out, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you please like and subscribe if this is the type of content that you're interested in. I'm really excited about this journey and I'm gonna come to you in another two weeks to share with you how much more weight I have lost. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.